What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we're taking a look at I live better in the Philippines than I did in the U.S. Hyphen here. How? Yes. Uh, this video pop up, popped up on our home screen. Something that I want to check out. Obviously, we've been on an Australian binge for quite some time and we're trying to throw back uh, the Philippines as well as uh, Malaysia, throw them back in the mix, as well as UK and Europe. We're trying to hit a few more countries and, and try and expand our audience. So uh, guys, before we hop into this video, if you would go ahead and check out today's sponsor. We were pretty skeptical when we were first introduced to the bone conduction audio technology, but the Ouya bone conduction waterproof headphones took that skepticism away pretty quickly. These IP68 rated headphones are perfect for people like us that enjoy every second that they can get in the water, but also want to enjoy music as well. Being made of lightweight titanium materials, they are super comfortable and won't cause earaches after long usage like traditional headphones. Not only do they support Bluetooth, but they also have 16 gigabytes of memory to download music onto the headphones themselves. That way you can listen to music underwater without Bluetooth connection issues. If you want to get a pair for yourself or a friend, click our affiliate link below in the description. And guys, before we hop in, if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up, it definitely helps us out in getting these videos out to more people. Also, if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, that way you guys can stay informed on our future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive, hey, exclusive, exclusive, exclusive YouTube short shout out, click that join button down below. Let's hop in and see why this man is living better in the Philippines. Answer a few of those questions, probably healthier eating, probably uh, more cost of living, cost of living, beautiful, just relaxing. Probably yes. don't work. That's that. This picture is probably from the Philippines. Probably. <laughs> it's probably right across the street. In today's video, I share my experience on how I live better in the Philippines than I did in the States. All right, without wasting time, let's get into it. So Probably any expat that's lived in the Philippines <laughs> can concur with me on this. The, the reason we can live better in the Philippines and in the US is because of the low cost of living and the affordable luxuries. Yep. For the same amount of money you'd spend in California, New York, Chicago, and any of the major cities in the US, you can live a life of luxury <laughs> in the Philippines. Before we moved to the Philippines, we lived in Chicago. And as you know, Chicago is not a cheap place to live. No. So it's our not. monthly expenses would reach up to over ten thousand dollars per month. Congratulations! Hey, what are you quit. doing? Oh, depending on where you live, I mean, you can live ten thousand dollars. Now, a when month. he says monthly expenses, he could be including like the luxuries that they do as well, and they might ten thousand dollars a month. They might be a wealthy family. I mean, they're well, definitely. They wouldn't be moving to. Well, they're rich the now. Philippines. They're much more wealthy in the Philippines. Ten thousand dollars. All right, let's find out. Ten thousand. And that's not hard. I want to see what he said. Ten thousand dollars per month. Congratulations, you played yourself. And that's you not hard yourself. to spend, being how expensive the city is. And nowadays, I've especially been there. with rising costs, you'd easily blow through that. And also keep in mind that it's an entire family as well, not just one person. Okay. But here in the Philippines, you come here with that kind of budget. Forget about it. You come here with half of that, $5,000, you're living like Tony Montana, a political prisoner from Cuba. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but $5,000, no joke, will provide you a life with very, very little financial worries here. I might even say none. To put the icing on the cake, you come here with half of that half, $2,500, and you're living the life, my friend. For example, I'm here at the pool in our condo in BGC. Granted, I won't sugarcoat it. It is more pricey to live in these cities of the Philippines. But but that that's beautiful. I mean, in BGC. Granted, I won't sugarcoat it. it is depending on what, which everywhere in the Philippines is not far from the ocean. So, so I personally did the math for all my stuff just recently. Mm-hmm. With everything, including car payment and an RV on top of that. Right. Insurance is everything. I'm around 3800 bucks. Yeah, I think I'm right at $3,000. Um, and I'm still paying on things no, like... No, no, no. I'm above $3,000. i am about $3,500, $3,600. Yeah. Um, and that's with child support. That's with $1,000 of child support. Yeah, and then so expenses and uh, child care and things like that. I'm around 35 You said 38 38 So... That's that's and two thousand is my rent. Right. So you gotta be looking at uh I mean, here you'd have to make just to get by and be able to do some luxuries, you'd have to make at least fifty five hundred to six grand pre tax. 
yeah. just to be able to do some fun things yeah. with with those kind of expenses. It is more pricey to live in these cities of the Philippines. But even with a luxurious lifestyle, like eating out whenever you please, hanging out at the pool mid-afternoon, and getting massages, I'd say the majority of us from the States is still spending less in the Philippines even with this. And the same budget to afford this type of lifestyle in the Philippines would afford you really nothing glamorous in the States. What you'll likely have when moving to the Philippines, whether you're retired, summer retired, or working as a digital nomad, is freedom of your own routine. The nice part about coming here and leaving your job from your home country is that you dictate your own time and basically live on your own terms. Your daily routine is completely up to you because you have less obligations starting in a new country. For most of you in the Philippines, you can wake up when you please and do whatever you want during the day. <laughs> and For see, us, that that would be fantastic to, to run a YouTube channel out of the Philippines. Oh, yeah. Because you make the same money you were making yeah. in America because it's just based off of your viewership and the, the origins that... that your viewers are from but it's doable yeah absolutely i love doing what he's doing right there Laying i've never on his back. i've never been successful in blowing o's in the water you got to lay on your back to do it so oh. i love doing it we can swim whenever we want we can eat out often and enjoy relaxing getaway activities well that burger was dripping what we do here is shape our work life around our preferred lifestyle. So if we want to go out and do this, the that, or swim, we schedule our work hours accordingly. This is why I suggest if you're coming here that you still have some sort of income coming in from your western country, of course, which you guys know that. Because if you or I were to work a traditional job in the Philippines, we won't get that freedom of routine where you can schedule your own day. Not to mention, it's always best to get paid dollars while in the Philippines. But I know a lot of you guys are looking for a simple life in the provinces of the Philippines. Many and perhaps yourself may be leaving your country to live a simple, minimalist, and peaceful life in the Philippines. And perhaps you don't want to live on the non-necessities and live extravagantly. And that's even better because your money will last you even longer here. But I'll tell you guys right now, not everyone is going to live better in the Philippines than they did in the U.S. Jeep Some me. people just like their life in the U.S. or That's at a their home building. country mm -hmm. more than they do in the Philippines. So make no mistake, it's not like you get off the plane and you're in Wonderland immediately and all of your worries disappear. I don't want to sell you guys a life that I know depends on each individual's taste. But getting back to my point, the cost of living and the affordable luxuries is what really makes life living here amazing. Even if you're not the type to spend much, you at least have that piece of mind knowing that you're not going to hit the pit of your wallet each month how many americans or just people in the west in general go a day without having to worry about making rent or at least making enough for that month we all know even though you and i make good money i mean it is it's still, still a, conscious a, a thought yeah. in the back of our mind like we've got to make more we're not making enough a hundred percent it's easy to get pressured into I don't know wherever I live is going to change and after that. that exactly. the next paycheck. But in places like the Philippines and Bali, you find that you free yourself of that stress because you're living a life with lower expenses. Basically, it's just not as hard to keep up with your expenses. While it's totally understandable, it's funny how many Filipinos want to move to the US and then many Americans want to leave the US for the Philippines. There's always aspects that you and I like and dislike about the US and same with the Philippines. It's up to us to figure out whether or not those upsides overcome the downsides. And why I also see us living better in the Philippines and in the US is because what is seen as luxurious in America is completely affordable in the Philippines. These movie references are, are great movies. Yeah, they're impeccable. <laughs> give you an example. My family would spend a lot of time going back and forth between the province and the city in Manila. It doesn't make sense he for us to book a grab every stick. single time <laughs> or to take public transportation. So what we did, which may be ideal for most of you as well, was hire a driver. You tell someone you hired a driver or a maid in the states then they'll immediately presume you to be rich but yes. here in the philippines hiring a lady. driver for 250 dollars per month is not only affordable but also completely worth it you have your own driver for 250 dollars a month it's a waste to me yeah i'd just get a That's scooter a lot of i'd just get a scooter now if it was 250 what is their denomination pesos 
Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. If it's 250 pesos, you got a deal. Oh, yeah. You have someone to help you navigate the area. You're with a local. That would be nice, you though. In getting around. And most of all, you don't have to drive. So this is just one of the many. It's like having your own tour guide. I need a big car, though. An on call driver. Let's say in the back. you don't need stuff like that and you prefer to live minimally, which many expats do here. Then you can expect your budget to last you much longer in the Philippines. But enough about money. We already know that you can get much more bang for your buck in the Philippines. The reason I and perhaps yourself will have a much better life in the Philippines is because of the people. The people make the Philippines. I always talk about how the people here forever. are genuine and kind. You get so him speaking on people, we've heard that in almost every Filipino video that we've watched that the Philippines has some of the most amazing people yes. just because of their kindness and their generosity. And we've seen it just in our comment section. Yeah. Things. Yeah. There's a lot. The of Philippines love. gives us the most love out of anybody, oh, except for the one or two Panoi baiting comments that we get yeah. from, from just mean people. <laughs> so mean. Get a sense of less tension in the air because the priorities of the people in the Philippines are different than the priorities of the people in the West. Here am I saying enough about money, but honestly, Filipinos prioritize family and relationships more than they do money. As opposed to living a life of materialism, they show you that happiness doesn't come from what you own. So it gives you a deeper sense of Hey, if these struggling Filipinos are happy with what little they have, then why can't I be happy I wish we had with what I have? Like the yeah. next reason like I enjoy food, life more in the everywhere. Philippines than in the U.S. We'd is be because of how them. more peaceful it is abroad. Peaceful because of several reasons. Number one, you get the island life no matter what setting you're in, so the pace of life here is much slower and laid back. Number two, the I people are that. not divisive and generally mind their own business. And three, as I mentioned, you can have freedom by living on your own terms terms and what you do during the day. But among these reasons, the fact that Filipinos are not divisive is what makes living here much sweeter. It's not like you have to walk on eggshells when talking to the people worried about their political stands and their personal beliefs. And it's not like they'll right. get offended if your beliefs are different than theirs. For the most part, the people here are united and there's not much drama whatsoever. The divisiveness, homelessness, increasing crime rates, increasing prices, and political drama were all things that led up to leaving the US. But I'll be honest guys, we still would have moved to the Philippines regardless, don't get me wrong, but these issues were just the cherry on top and it's what sealed the deal. And another reason we love the Philippines that. is because sunsets are like this every day, very beautiful. And so while it may sound crazy to leave America for a third world country, in all reality, America has the exact same things that third world countries have. And don't get me wrong, I love that I was raised in the States and life was good there. I Technically, we do not call it third world countries anymore. Yeah, and you guys, the Philippines, I wouldn't consider a third world country. It's developed and underdeveloped. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, but it's developing quickly. Yeah, absolutely. But no, I, I wouldn't even use that term to describe. Right. Yeah. The Philippines is way too, way yeah, the Philippines is way too gorgeous and, and technologically advanced yeah. to call a... Yeah, I really believe world. that far back then, it's America understated. was the best place to be to build a life. And I consider it a blessing because I wouldn't have my upbringing in any other way or any other place. But at some point, you just want something new for a change and you look all around in America and you see that it's also changing and not for the better either. But I'll be honest, two years ago, I wouldn't be able to say that I liked the Philippines more than I did the US. That's the thing, it can be easy to picture the Philippines as everything you see on social media. The beautiful beaches, the weather, the people, it can be easy to get caught up in thinking that things will be perfect as soon as you land. But the reality is, for many, it will take time to adjust to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. My first couple months here, I didn't like the Philippines. I wasn't used to life here. But as time goes on, you figure out the best place to live suited for you. You figure out your routine and you adjust to the new life. For some of you, you may prefer living in the province full time. While for others, they simply can't stand living in the province for extended periods of time. These are the little <laughs> Turn things around, that you along the way that make for a good life in the Philippines. So I'd say for some, the longer that you live here, the better life gets. That was at least the case for us. We knew that we didn't want to live in the province full time, so we made BGC our home base. Then when we feel like visiting the province to go to the beaches and check out the sites, we set aside a day for that. So there you have it, TV expats. That is a couple of reasons why I find life better in the Philippines than in the US. Pers
Personally, I feel happier here. And that's not just because I run a YouTube channel about the Philippines. I can genuinely say that with my hand to my heart. If you enjoyed this video, a like. Uh, so definitely I would uh, enjoy this video and give it a like. This was a very well put together video and he explained things very well. Guys, go check out the Savvy Expat. He's only got 19.6 thousand subscribers. This guy looks like, uh, let's see. He puts out a lot. He puts out a lot of content. You guys got to go check him out. I, and I'm, I'm going to subscribe just because I want to check out more of his content and I want to be able to remember to check out more of his content. So guys, if that's something that uh, you guys are interested in, again, go check out the Savvy Expat. Um, and if you're watching this video, very well put together video and we appreciate the content uh and honestly moving to the philippines would be super easy if we weren't in the situations we had uh, we have so yeah. that would be the downside is even if we figured out how to get around those situations and make it work you're leaving some family behind some friends behind and that would be the part that you would have to get used to and i think that's what All he means family. by that yeah so uh but your parents are are planning on moving yeah. or at least they talk about it to um not argentina no um portugal portugal yeah so um but the thing is they also know that they're gonna have to buy us plane tickets oh yeah they, i mean they they know that if yeah. you say hey i want to come visit they'll say okay here you go yeah here's your plane ticket yeah come on uh, but yeah, Savvy X back, go check him out. This was a great video, uh, very informative and hit all the points that I figured he would hit. So, yeah, but guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to suggest a video, we have a link to our discord down in the description. Please hit it up and drop some, uh, video ideas for us. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see our future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you want to support us directly, hit that join button. And with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out. Mm -hmm.